Labelled with a serial number, this gun is now under the UN's control. The international mission in Colombia says more than 7,000 weapons have been registered and stored in these containers. The third and final phase of the arms handover by FARC rebels is a major milestone in the peace process. The disarmament is perhaps the most important date for the last three generations of Colombians. After years of negotiations, the government and the rebels agreed to end half a century of bloodshed, which left more than 220,000 people dead. A landmark peace agreement was signed last September. Under the controversial deal, the FARC would lay down their weapons, face justice and become a political force. President Juan Manuel Santos won a Nobel Peace Prize for his peacemaking efforts. In an interview with France 24 last week, he shared his excitement over the last stage of the weapons handover, which began on the 20th of June. And this will mean that uh, disarmament has uh, been completed and that the FARC will no longer exist as an armed group and this is therefore a historic moment for Colombia. The implementation of the deal hasn't all gone smoothly. The deadline for laying down the arms was delayed. Suspicion remains among the population. The guerrillas have given up individual weapons, but they still have hundreds of arms caches dotted around the country. The UN is supposed to find and destroy them before September, but is unlikely to succeed. Meanwhile, a separate peace process with ELN, the country's second largest armed group, has stalled. That group is refusing to lay down their weapons.